Good afternoon, guys! Welcome to Life Apollo, some of the most trusted bearded automotive news. Happy to have you here! Oh man, I'm feeling fantastic today, guys. And the sad thing is I can't really tell you why just yet. Uh, people that have been watching my channel over the last couple weeks, you might know what's so exciting. Anyway, we got a fantastic episode in store for all of you guys watching right now. Thanks for taking a couple minutes out of your day to spend with me. And I ask you guys, before we begin, uh, please lightly tap the subscribe subscribe button with your own illustrious beard. Join Beard Nation today, guys. We're growing stronger every day. Saddle up, Beard Nation. Let's go. Oh, okay, I gotta like, like calm myself down a little bit. I'm so pumped about uh, the stuff I wanna be able to share with you guys. Okay, first story today has to do with Gold Rush Rally. Like we predicted uh, over the last couple days, shenanigans have started already, and we've seen some very interesting things happening. Well, between Alex Choi, uh, Randy from Savage Garage, and some very great coverage, from Ed Boldy and all together rolled into one. All right, so first up in this sort of uh, Gold Rush Rally coverage, let's talk about Ed Bolian's videos. He actually vlogged. When is the last time we've ever heard of Ed Bolian from VinWiki vlogging? It's a really cool thing to see. Uploading directly to the VinWiki channel, guys. Doing a bunch of live streams over there. Make sure to follow him if you want to make sure to catch all the best stuff from his perspective. Uh, he goes through the entire starting grid of Gold Rush Rally. And if you guys know about Gold Rush, uh, some of the craziest cars on the planet generally take place in this particular rally. The last time I checked it, it probably is way more now. It's like 20 grand to participate unless you get sponsored by someone to go out there and be in the rally. Ed Bullion is going to give you the best sort of uh, upfront look at everything that goes on at the start of the Gold Rush Rally, which is a very exciting time. Make sure to go check out his videos first. And now we get into sort of the uh, the hypercar trouble, and it's plaguing one of our favorite channels, uh, Savage Garage. Randy in particular, and the fun thing here, guys, is Alex Choi and Randy have sort of teamed up to drive this thing together. Or at least that's what it looks like from Alex Choi's Instagram stories. Now, things get a little bit crazy, guys. Uh, we see uh, just a flurry of stories on Alex Choi's Instagram account. Uh, some showing some very interesting cruising speeds uh, in the Pagani Huayra. Uh, 165 might be what we saw on Alex Choi's story. a bunch of very interesting uh, getting pulled over it looks like stories as well that either immediately preceded it or came after the timelines a little bit fuzzy just having the word oops at the bottom with Randy sort of giving the thumbs up and then actually showing them revving uh, one of their cars just for the police to be able to watch <laughs> So I'm not really sure what happened there. Uh, either they made friends with the cops afterward or everything was okay, but kind of crazy to go watch, guys. Like I said, uh, the stuff from Gold Rush Rally is coming in from so many different sources. Make sure to hit me up on Instagram. Go follow me over there, guys. That's the best way to talk to me directly. If you have a cool clue or if you spotted something that I didn't see, I can't be everywhere at once, so make sure to hit me up on Instagram. Go follow me over there, guys, and make sure to hit me up. I try to get to everybody that DMs me. It's getting harder and harder as our channel expands, but but I really do try. But yeah, guys, Alex Choi, Savage Garage, Ed Bullion have some of the best coverage so far. I expect that we'll be seeing a lot of Savage Garage vlogs about Gold Rush Rally. They certainly put a ton up last year, which really launched their channel. Sort of an interesting concert piece with Alex Choi as well. It's gonna be a crazy ride, guys. Expect some major shenanigans coming down the pipe. Next up, guys, uh, it seems like, just like we've been talking about over the last couple uh, weeks and months now, every channel seems to be buying a hypercar. We had Daily Joe. Driven Exotics, we have Stradman with the P1 and the Bugatti Veyron. We get a new hypercar coming to Savage Garage sometime in the future. Houston Crows to always buy a new hypercars. Everyone has crazy stuff on the way, and it seems like we might have one more channel uh, that has a new hypercar and one that you guys have actually seen before if you're fans of Stradman. JR Garage, guys, a channel that actually teased selling a number of their cars to buy a singular hypercar, actually jumped onto both TikTok and Instagram 
Instagram with the following messages, just asking everyone time for a hypercar. Overwhelmingly, yes, 85% yes. The last time I checked, guys, they certainly have the means. They had a lot of success early on with their channel. They started really hitting it hard a number of months ago. Uh, and they've talked about the fact that they could just sell a bunch of their cars right now and put like a half a million dollar down payment on a Bugatti Veyron. And I believe that the Bugatti Veyron they're looking at is the blackout Bugatti that Stradman test drove a couple months ago before he settled on the Veyron that he bought himself. But yeah, we have pictures of the exterior from TikTok. We have the interior uh, looking at the wheel. Uh, could JR Garage be the next hypercar channel? And the question I wanna ask you guys here is, would that be enough to make you go watch them specifically if you weren't already a viewer? Does having a Bugatti Veyron want to make you watch the content regardless of creator? Very curious question. Let me know in the comments below. And do you think they'll actually pull the trigger on a hypercar for their channel? Would it be a Bugatti or would it be something else? Let me know in the comments below. I wanna get your thoughts on this, guys, because hypercars seem to be what the automotive community is gravitating toward. It's a crazy thing to think about how many cars are on the verge of getting hypercars or just bought it. We have Tavares talking about Bugattis over the past couple months. Who knows what's gonna happen there? Who's gonna be the next one, guys? Let me know. All right, guys, uh, big news today, uh, compiled with some uh, earlier videos from Stradman. If you guys watched his video today, it's fantastic, by the way. Make sure to go check the entire thing out. Watch it from start to finish. He generally talks about his key for the Veyron and how expensive it is, like $10,000 uh, to replace it. I believe he also said he was going to buy another one so he could have two. But I actually thought that the crazier news, guys, and maybe we're just sort of all Bugattied out for the moment, is that he's having major, major issues with the Lamborghini Aventador. If you guys will remember, it was the cheapest Lamborghini Aventador in the entire US when he bought it uh, all those years ago. Uh, specifically, we get a number of lines in this particular video uh, at 846 and 1306 in the video uh, that basically say this. Oh, great. The Aventador clutch is done for. It is shuddering like crazy. It is slipping like crazy. Even, We're not going to make it home. Even in this drive alone, the degradation. So I reckon the over under we make at home is significantly lower than I was thinking. The clutch on this car is absolute garbage. We thought the overheating was gonna be the problem. This car is just falling apart. The Aventador is dying a very slow death though. The clutch is gonna be need to replace very, very soon. We had the overheating issues. So obviously you heard it in the clips, guys. Uh, the clutch is gonna be done for. Those are extraordinarily expensive to fix. Uh, and obviously we've seen a bunch of overheating issues. He talked about that in the later part of the video. We've seen it uh, in a bunch of his earlier vlogs and actually some other people's vlogs too, where they sort of chronicle, you know, just being stuck in that car. If you guys remember, I think it was back in like June or July, uh, we got an entire video entitled Selling My Aventador to Buy at SVJ. Now, obviously he hasn't done anything like that yet. And that was pre hypercar purchase. But if you look throughout the entire video, guys, uh, he certainly talks about SVJs a lot. Maybe an SV or something a little bit different might be a good buy for him. What do you guys think, guys? He's obviously signaled that there, there is the potential to sell the Aventador at some point. Would that coincide sort of well with all the issues that it's having right now. Uh, would you like to see him sell the Aventador to get an even crazier Aventador like an SV or an SVJ? There's so many question marks here because we've gotten so many different indicators over the past two months that lots of issues, maybe could sell it, might be buying an SVJ. So I wanna know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments below. I for one would love to see an SVJ on the channel. Uh, that's obviously a pretty big price jump, uh, but maybe he could sell the Aventador and just get like an SV. I say just get an SV, a little bit less expensive right now. And I want to remind you of something, guys. Uh, he's basically said a number of times on the channel that the Aventador is basically his favorite car, even maybe more so than the Bugatti Veyron. Hard as that may be to believe, but we all sort of have special places in our hearts for cars that just mean a lot to us. And if you guys will think back, when Stradman bought the cheapest Aventador in the nation, his channel went from like 300,000 views a video to 500,000 plus, and it really launched his, uh, his massive sort of increase in subscribers and view counts ever since that day. We saw similar increases with the, the Supra and the C8 content afterward, and he's really never let up since then. So would it make sense to get rid of such an iconic car? It almost feels akin to uh, what, what Daily Driven Exotics did with selling the Tire Slayer. So many people were shocked about that. It would certainly be crazy to see the Aventador leave the channel in, in any way, even if he was upgrading to a better version of it. Anyway, food for thought, guys. Moving on to our next story. Huge shout out for Car Wow, guys. I feel like we're covering them just about every day.
today. One of our latest videos, guys, taking out the Bugatti Chiron per Spore for a track test review, an exclusive. Holy cow, if you like Bugattis, if you like the Chiron, go check it out, guys. Matt Watson just crushing the automotive game the way that no one else is right now. Next up, guys, Tavares uh, buying a $40,000 McLaren part. Yes, you heard right, guys. Uh, go check it out. It's extraordinarily interesting. Some of you might already know what it is, uh, sort of by my description of how expensive it is for the 675LT. Uh, love the rebuild process on that car. Uh, the 675LT, extraordinarily uh, rare. McLaren, uh, so much history. Incredible track monster, even still. Go check it out, guys. Tavares always kills the game. What can I say? Go follow him. And in a series that has been doing extraordinarily well for Royalty Exotics, uh, sort of chronicling all of their renters. Now we got crazy Hellcat issues, uh, sort of destroying the car to a certain degree. Go check it out, guys. Royalty Exotics has found new life in sort of showing the videos that just sort of have something to do with their daily in and out business. Just sort of talking about all the different confrontations and interactions they have with different customers that sort of mishandle their cars for the most part. Check it out, guys. Royalty Exotics uh, in the description below. Gotta mention my man, it's just a six, guys, because you asked for it. Also, Gavin's an awesome dude. Uh, taking the 570S Spider down the tail of the dragon, guys. What an iconic place to take your car. Very, very cool to see, guys. Obviously, a monster congratulations again to Gavin on buying such a fantastic car. I'm very excited to see what he's going to be doing with that. Uh, who knows? But if you like supercars, if you've never checked out It's Just a Six's channel, nearing a million subs, guys. Very well deserved. Fantastic cinematic and just good natured uh, car fun. What else can I say? Go check them out. And then skimming through the rest of the news, guys, we got more Doug DeMiro. Doug DeMiro's secondary channel, him talking about all of his thoughts on the new Nissan Z prototype. Obviously, it's sort of a very contentious car, guys. I feel like the front looks like an Aston Martin. The back looks like a Mustang. Uh, a lot of people either love it or hate it. I want to know what you guys think of the new Nissan Z prototype. And make sure to go check out Doug's breakdown of the car. Fantastic as ever. There's a reason why he's as big as he is. And rounding out our day, guys, we got Ideal Media. With the cheapest cars you can buy with 500 horsepower, if you're an HP nut, make sure to go check out Ideal Media, guys. Sort of like a cousin to Donut Media in the style and presentation and topics they choose. And we have Alex Rebuild with part six of the McLaren 720S Rebuild. One of the only guys on YouTube, period, that I think is actually in the course of rebuilding a 720S. Fascinating channel. Love some of his rebuild work. Go check out Alex Rebuilds. And folks, that's all I've got for you guys today. Uh, get excited. Very special announcement coming hopefully in the next couple of days. We got vlogs coming up. I uh, should be able to show you an in process of the Raptor sort of first build we're doing. Still taking names for what we should call it. Uh, people were saying like all hail Raptor or sort of like Halosaurus Rex. I don't know. There's all sorts of crazy names out there. I want to name the Raptor something cool. And should we get some sort of a wrap on it too? I don't know if I can match the uh, sort of plaid purple that Burlacker did. But maybe there's something that would sort of fit the uh, the theme of our channel. Maybe a giant beard on the front of it. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, have a fantastic day. Make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy. And I'm out of breath. Bye.